Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. Okay, happy Banner Pump Rules slash The Valley Day, but also it's not so happy for everyone, especially one of these real housewives. So we're going to break into it. Before we do, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also don't forget that we will be back on Friday live, but this week um, and through the rest of April, it's a little bit different. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's crazy. Jason's in Charleston. We're trying to figure it out. So thank you for bearing with us, but we're moving again. And that requires a lot. So here we go. All right, guys. So we have to start off with the Alexia Napola of it all. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Alexia, we're going to call her Echeveria, has released a statement in the wake of her husband Todd Napola's divorce filing. Hours after it was reported that Todd had filed for divorce over just two years of marriage, the Real Housewives, a cast, uh, Real Housewives of Miami cast member, Alexia, took to her Instagram story where she admitted she was shocked by her spouse's desire to end their marriage. She said, mm, Not good. She said, I am shocked and heartbroken that Ch Todd chose, has chosen to dissolve our marriage. I will take comfort in the fact that my friends and family will be by my side supporting me during this difficult time, and I'm praying for better times ahead. Oof. Yeah. Earlier in the day on Monday, it was revealed that Miami-Dade County court records had confirmed Todd's filing was made last Thursday, April 11th, and that he did not share any details regarding his reasoning behind the split in his paperwork. Todd's attorney, Michael J. Alleman, was also named in his filing, but an attorney for Alexia was not given. Now, while there has been no confirmation of why Todd filed for divorce from Alexia, Miami Housewife viewers will recall that the couple faced a series of financial rumors throughout the sixth season, including claims of being forced out of their apartment, which they both denied. They got engaged in 2019. They tied the knot two years later in December of 2021 before her marriage to Todd. Alexia was married to Herman Echeverria and Peter Rosello senior the father of her sons frankie and peter rosello jr no word of when filming will begin for the new season but it seems like this is going to be a big deal do i think that alexia will be able to make it out of this on top yeah 100 i think that alexia is a rock star and i think that if you look at any of the housewives they're all very different on their playing fields. But if I look at anyone who's able to bag a man, grab a man, figure out how to get a man, if she wants a woman, I don't care what kind of man. You want a woman, a regular man, a rich man, a poor man, a, a whatever man. If I think anybody can pull this off, it's Alexia. Now, does that make me feel any less bad for the situation? No. I mean, I think it's very confusing. I think it's heart-wrenching. And I would hate to be in the position where I'm splitting up my family. But at the end of the day, it's better for her to find out now that Todd is not the guy. Well, speaking of which, we need to go over to the West Coast because it looks like we have another Real Housewives star, but she's not necessarily filing for divorce. She's just filing for maybe a future divorce. I hate to say that. Jennifer Pedronti, step on forward, girl. Now, Jennifer Pedronti and Ryan are engaged. Thank you to all about the Real Housewives. Jen and Ryan are one step closer to their happily ever after. After the Real Housewives of Orange County star got engaged in the Beverly Hill or Bahamas last week. Get all of the details is what they said. So per People Magazine, the OC couple got engaged last week while vacationing at the Bahamar Resort in Bahamas. We're both super stoked and could not be happier. We always say that our love is a gift and this just feels like the icing on the cake. This is a magical time for us. 
I really am the luckiest girl in the world. Now, Ryan popped the question on Thursday, April 11th, while they were taking a stroll on the beach, and the location is one of their favorite spots to visit with their blended family. We take all of the kids there, typically the first week of summer, so it was important for me to do it in a spot that means something to us. Now we'll always be able to go right there in the little perch of sand by the staircase and remember the milestone together. It feels so special that this happened while we were in our happy place, but Jen flew straight from the OC season 18 cast trip in London to meet Ryan in the Bahamas, noting that she had no idea a proposal was coming. She said, I was shocked. He was like, come here for a second. And we walked down onto the beach and he pulled me in and I said to him, are you doing something? And the second he got down in the sand, I don't even remember what he said because I was so surprised. There were probably a hundred people lined up in the pool and out of nowhere, we just heard this roar of people cheering and clapping. It was absolutely amazing. So Ryan proposed with a five carat custom cushion cut diamond that he designed with a nailie jewelers in mission viejo california according to ryan he designed and purchased the ring two years ago when jennifer was filming her first season of orange county housewives just like the proposal jennifer didn't see herself receiving such a large engagement ring this is the second marriage for ryan and i so we would talk about oh maybe if we get married again one day we'll just do a small tattoo on our left ring finger and that's where we'll only know what it means. And then this guy proposes with a ring that just knocks my socks off. The two have been dating since September of 2020 and met while Jennifer was still married to her now estranged husband, who's still in the process of getting divorced. But Ryan and Jennifer share seven kids from their respective marriages. Cole, who's 20, Harrison, 20, Tyler, 18, Dawson, 17, Grayson, 15, Everlay, 13, and Dominic, 10. Before popping the question, Ryan got the approval of her parents and her two brothers. That for me was a super special day because the conversations are something that I'll never forget with the four of them. I say this all the time. I'm so prioritized is what Jennifer said. He communicates everything with me and he's my best friend and I, got, I get to do life with my best friend. We do life together. That's what he said. She's a combination of not only the strongest woman I've ever met not only the most loving woman I've ever met, but an absolutely amazing mom and lover of not just people in her own circle, but of people in general. I've never met someone who radiates so much love and true genuine care for everyone. But as for their wedding plans, the Bravo couple, they're thinking of returning to Baja Mar for a simple and small celebration. I don't think Ryan nor myself are looking for some big celebration. We just got engaged, so obviously we're just enjoying that. And not planning anything concrete, but I can see us doing it on one of these trips where all of our kids are with us in the sand. Something small, just family and friends. If I had it my way, it would be the same way that you saw the proposal picture. It'd be a bikini and board shorts and all of our kids. And Ryan said, I don't know about that. Hmm. Okay. Well, guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Pop off in the comment section, please. But also more importantly, what a great way to get married slash engaged. They're not married yet, but it's coming. I'm all about it. I want to hear what you guys think, especially about the Alexia giving her statement. And that's where that this became really sad. Alexia giving, giving her statement on the Real Housewives of Miami situation, especially with Todd Napola. Oof. Okay. Anyways, pop off, smash that like button, show some love. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.